Hi, my name is Anna Lemke, and I'm a psychiatrist at Stanford University School of Medicine and chief of our addiction medicine dual diagnosis clinic. I'm here to tell you about opioid overdose. First, what is an opioid overdose? An opioid is a chemical made in our brains and also found in nature in the form of opium from the poppy plant. Today, opioids can also be made in a laboratory from scratch without needing opium as a precursor. One example of a highly potent and deadly opioid made entirely from chemicals in a laboratory is fentanyl. Opioids can impact the body in three main ways. One, they can relieve pain. Two, they can induce euphoria. Three, they can slow breathing and heart rate. This last is critical to understanding opioid overdose. When we ingest opioids in plant or pill form at too high doses or for too long a duration, they can slow down breathing and heart rate until we fall asleep, our heart stops beating, we stop breathing, and we die. Opioid overdoses are often accidental and can occur in people taking opioid medications exactly as prescribed by their doctor, as well as in people using opioids recreationally. The highest risk is in people taking opioids combined with other drugs, like opioids combined with prescription sedatives, like benzodiazepines, for example, Xanax, opioids combined with alcohol, and opioids combined with cocaine and methamphetamine. Second, how can we detect an opioid overdose? Signs of an opioid overdose include the following. The person seems asleep and doesn't wake up even when you shake them hard. Their breathing is slow or shallow. You can barely hear their heartbeat when you put your ear to their chest. Their skin is pale and their lips and fingernails look bluish purple. If you think someone is having an opioid overdose, call 911. Third, what can we do to prevent an opioid overdose? If taking opioids for pain, take them exactly as prescribed by your doctor and store the pills in safe places out of reach of anyone who might try them, especially children. Keep in mind that if you have not used opioids for some period of time, a few weeks to months, you have lost tolerance to opioids and need to restart them at much lower doses. Keep naloxone on hand in case you witness an overdose. Naloxone is an opioid overdose reversal agent that works by blocking the chemical effects of opioids in the brain. Be sure to check out resources for naloxone in your state. And never ever take a pill that was not prescribed to you, even if you trust that person and think you recognize the pill. Counterfeit pills sold on the street and online look exactly like real prescription pills and can contain lethal amounts of opioids. For example, counterfeit Xanax laced with fentanyl. So that's it. If you or someone you love is struggling with substance misuse, talk to a licensed mental health professional or a person in long-term recovery. Bottom line, millions of people can and do get into recovery from addiction and remain in long-term recovery for decades. That could be you. Reach out for help today. Thank you.